A long road to normalcy for downtown Denver's long-standing Capitol Hill books. A pickup truck smashed into the storefront and went right into the shop. And this is just the latest hurdle the bookstore has had to face. Tori Mason live there tonight. Tori, that owner determined to keep the shop open. She is, and you know, Jim, this bookstore has been through it. All of the windows here were boarded up for half of 2020, and well, that plywood, <laughs> it's back. You know, every once in a while we get an unfortunate incident. A series of unfortunate events isn't just a title on these shelves. Lately, it's the reality at Capitol Hill Books. I am still finding little chips of glass every once in a while. Owner Holly Brooks still finds reminders of vandalism from protests last summer. This week, they're picking up the shards once again. That's the worst that has happened until this. A truck slammed into the side of the bookstore at Colfax and Grant, taking out an entire wall and the book stored behind them. This is the damage they caused. Some are a total loss. All of our most expensive rare books were in those cases. So that's what we've been doing today is to go through and sort out, you know, what we can't sell anymore. In a way, it was a lucky disaster. No one was hurt and their radiator was so heavy, it stopped the truck from driving further into the store. I have to cover whatever was inside. Replacing glass or even an entire wall isn't enough for Brooks to consider moving. She'll continue to turn the page and move on. I mean, this is a landmark, you know, 41 years. I wouldn't even consider closing this bookstore. So as for that uh, truck driver attempting to turn their bookstore into a drive through they're not going to let that keep them closed for very long. She tells me that they hope to be open by tomorrow. Police are still investigating into how this even happened. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First. All right, Tori, thank you. Well,